This is a short demonstration on how to uh, use AutoCAD's lofting command. Uh, this will be the final result we're aiming for. It's a hammerhead and here we've got the yellow shapes which make up that particular object. Uh, there's not a, f a fine amount of detail on these cross sections but there's enough to, to work with. So we wouldn't try and because the, the hammer goes from kind of sharp edged to smooth to sharp to smooth it, it wouldn't be sensible to make it all in one go so we're going to do the the transition section here and the end and then we'll join things together so I'll zoom in a bit closer so we use the the loft command and you pick the shapes that you want to to join in the order that they appear so first second third Okay, it's uh, currently joining these as a surface and that's because of the mode that's set at the moment. So I'm going to change the mode. I want a solid and then I press return because it's drawn it as a solid and I want to check the settings to, to create a smooth transition. You can also do this in AutoCAD 2012 through this little red device. Uh, you can choose a smooth fit. At the moment it's going for ruled, but a smooth fit would make it look more natural. So if, you, if you're in a version that doesn't have this, then you have to do it through the settings. So you type in the letter S, and then you can choose your smooth fit. Pull out of the way, you can see how it's joined them now. That's okay. Now, usually the shapes that you you work with get absorbed into the object. So what I'm going to do is just copy this particular section over to here just before I, I possibly lose it. So let's go again. So uh, loft, pick them in the order see it's joining them with a ruled surface. It's creating a solid but it's a ruled surface. Press return. Let's choose smooth fit from this menu this time. Smooth fit looks good. Press return. Notice this time it fully absorbed the shapes. To get the very front of the hammer and the middle section they're simple extrusions. So EXT Pick the circle there, return, and the green shape that we've got here is actually a kind of elevation of the hammer, a side view. So I'm going to make sure I get endpoint there, and that's set the the distance for the extrusion. And do the same here, ext. Pick the section, take it across to the endpoint there. Now these could be joined together. If I use the union command, pick one, two, three, four, and return. It's turned it into one large object. Object. And the blue shapes here, these are to be cut out from the main one, and this will form the hole for the for the wooden handle and the claw at the back of the hammer, which you pull the nails out with. So we can subtract. From the main object, return, then pick the two subtraction shapes. And there's our lofted hammer. Very Dave Gilmore, isn't it? <laughs>